Experts estimate 300,000 children are sexually exploited every year. Some are even being sold as sex slaves on the internet. It is a crime against young women that's barely reported. Before she left on maternity leave, Natalie Morales filed this report on one teenager's harrowing story, a warning it is very tough to watch. It's a story that begins in small town USA with the girl next door. I always figured that something like that can never happen to me because I was safe. I was always careful. At 16, Shauna Newell had heard the stories of the thousands of young foreign women being tricked into modern day sexual slavery. I always thought that stuff like that only happened to people who were like putting themselves in that position, in that predicament, you know, like girls who were floozies and girls who just took life for granted and I wasn't that kind of person, you know. I dressed respectably, I never showed my body off ever. But this Florida teenager's life took a terrifying turn when she was trafficked by the most unlikely criminal, a fellow 16-year-old girl. She was a really good friend. Shauna says that girl, a 16-year-old we'll call Kathy, worked hard to gain Shauna's trust and within months, a deep friendship was born. Shauna spent weeks lobbying her mother for permission to spend the night at Kathy's house. And Shauna's just begging me, begging me, begging me, so I finally gave in. Her dad took us to this house and said he'd be right back, and he left us there, and I asked for some water because I was thirsty, and I drank the water, and I blacked out. When Shauna woke up, she felt groggy and couldn't move. My legs were being held down. The guy that was raping me was holding my hands back. Like, I kept screaming, stop, please don't do this, leave me alone. But I was so weak, I couldn't fight him off. Like, I was, I was still really out of it. And I blacked out a few times, and I kept coming back, too. And I was still being raped every time I woke up. At home, her mother started to worry. My cell phone rang, and all I heard was, Mommy, help me, and the phone went dead. And I freaked. After receiving a frantic phone call from her daughter, Shauna's mother, Lisa, called police. She says they told her not to worry and tried to convince her Shauna had run away. And he's like, oh, well, you know, there's nothing I can do. You know, teenagers. And I was like, no, you don't understand. I know my children. Something's wrong. Not every child that's designated as a runaway is a runaway child. My daughter, Polly, who was kidnapped by a vicious, brutal, life term criminal was thought to have run away for a long period of time. Shauna endured three days of being drugged, raped and tortured. And according to rescuers, Shauna had been sold on the internet for $300,000. In a twist of fate, the volunteer search party looking for the 16 year old rescued her when her captors stopped for gas while trying to flee the state. Her eyes were black and blue, her mouth was bloody, her nose was bloody. Her throat had handprints all over it. In the two years since the abduction, no one has ever been arrested or prosecuted for the kidnapping, gang rape, and torture of Shauna Newell. Today, under the watchful guard of her family, Shauna warns other girls about how easy it is to be kidnapped and trafficked. Her mission? To save other girls from a similar fate. To this day, I still... I'm still scared to go out. Like, I went to the beach a few weeks ago, and I saw the dude who raped me, and... He, he just looked at me like, like, hey, you know, I mean, you ruined my whole life. You have scarred me for the rest of my life, and you're just sitting there going on with your life like nothing is wrong. 